Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of my testing new drugstore makeup video. If you have not seen the first one, definitely check it out because there's a lot of newness at the drugstore and a lot of really good stuff. And today we're continuing on with new makeup. Brands are just coming out with stuff like nonstop. And by the way, please do not feel obligated to purchase every new makeup product that I'm talking about. This is all just for fun, just for reviews. If you guys are interested in any of the new products, I hope that these can be helpful. And if you don't plan on buying anything, that's totally fine as well. Grab your makeup up then so that we can have some grill time and hang out and just chit chat you guys can live through me trying out all of the new stuff so grab a snack get cozy and let's get into it first things first i'm going to start off with a lip balm actually and i got this in pr and i have been obsessed with this it's from pixie it's the botanical collagen lip gloss so it's basically like a glossy lip balm and i have been loving this it's so moisturizing on the lips and it's also not sticky and i mean you totally could use this over other lip products. It goes on really smooth and it's hydrating. Also, if you're wondering, this glow that I have going on is from this new product from e.l.f. that I tested out also in my last video, but the Wo Glow Sun Protection and Makeup Primer. This has been amazing, so good, has not pilled on me, really hydrating, and I love this glowy, dewy finish that it adds to the skin. I am gonna use another primer that I have, but that is what I have on my skin right now. So I'm sure a lot of you guys know, but in case you didn't, ColourPop is now at Target, and I picked up this little palette I showed it in a Target haul and I'm finally gonna test it out because it looks so beautiful. But this is the truly iconic pressed powder palette. I'm such a big fan of ColourPop eyeshadows and this just looks like the most perfect little palette for the winter. We have some nice cool tones in here. So I'm gonna start with this shade first. And I already primed my lids, did my brows, all that fun stuff. And I'm just gonna put that color in my crease. You already know the vibes. We need a good neutral blending shade. This one looks really light, but I'm gonna build it up. It's a good cool tone, like taupey shade. Next, I'm gonna go into this color right here, which does have some glitter. I wonder if you can see that on camera, but it's like a pinky mauve tone. And there's like a glittery kind of finish that it has, but I'm still gonna apply that on the outer portion. Ooh, that's pretty, I like this color. I need to use more cool tone eyeshadows this year, like more often, because sometimes, to be honest, I think they even look better on my skin tone versus warm tones. I mean, I love my warm tone shades, but every time I use cool tones, I'm like, this looks so good. I love this color. It's a combination of a pinky, mauve -y, purpley shade. And then I'm gonna take this light lilac silver shade and I'm gonna apply that on my lid. I'm gonna spray my brush and I actually have a new setting spray, but I'm gonna save that for later. And I'm gonna use my tried and true Milani Make It Last. I'm just adding more of that mauve tone color in my crease, extending this out a little bit. I'm gonna do a wing, so I wanna just kind of elongate the eyeshadow a little bit more. I'm definitely gonna use the black in this palette. I'm like most excited for that. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. eye tapes. I will say whenever you blend, any of the shimmer that you have going on with any of the matte shades, it kind of just like blends it away. Like, do you see that compared to this eye? I've really never had that happen with any of my ColourPop palettes. Like I said, I love the formula of them. And this palette seems cute, but it is pretty light. It's not, I feel like as vibrant as some of the other palettes that I've tried from them. So this is kind of what I'm thinking right now, because I have this new product here from Pixi that I feel like maybe could work to apply all over the lid, because I still want a little bit of like a sheen. So I'm going to try out the Eye Lift Max Liquid Shadow from Pixi. This looks really pretty. It's like a light silvery shade. Let me swatch it first. Okay. That's what it looks like. Let's try it. I'm gonna just put it all over where I had that shimmer and then I'll just blend it out. I don't know how I feel about this formula. It's creamy, but it's also kind of dry. Mm, I thought they were gonna be a little bit more like kind of metallic-y. I wanna make my lids a little bit more icy. So I am taking this shimmery, it looks like a silver in the pan, but it's a light baby blue. And I'm just gonna apply that over this color because I don't really actually even love those liquid eyeshadows from Pixie. Maybe I'll have to try them by themselves versus like over these eyeshadows, but the formula is just dry, I don't know. And then when you blend it, it just, 
doesn't look good. It starts to look a little bit patchy and then the product underneath lifts. It's just not the best formula. This is probably not my favorite palette from ColourPop, to be honest. I don't think it's bad. It's definitely doable. Some of the colors are a little bit more pigmented than others and it works, but it's not my favorite palette from ColourPop. But let's move into mascara because I have this new Lash and Roll one from e.l.f. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash. I personally have never used that mascara, but apparently this is like the same exact thing, if not even better. So let's try it out. I love e.l.f. mascaras. You guys already know. So this is what the wand looks like it has a little bit of a curl but it has those tiny little fibers on the end which i really like i think these are good for length these kind of wands oh this is giving some length i'm liking the formula too because it's not too wet and it also doesn't seem like it's going to be too dry either <gasps> oh my god my mirror just broke isn't this bad luck oh okay we're getting rid of that so I definitely feel like I'm getting separation and volume with this mascara. I really like it, actually. I think it has a really nice formula. And I just picked up these new lashes. They're from Kiss from the Muses collection. And I got these from CVS, by the way. Oh, wow. The band is really thin. They're super fluffy and lightweight. I actually thought they were going to be a little bit more dramatic, but... They feel more lightweight than I thought. So just to show you the style, this looks pretty because they sort of looks like they taper on the ends. So I thought with the winged liner, they would be pretty. Oh, I like these. Lashes really do make everything better because I like this eye look so much more now with these lashes, which by the way, I'm gonna get more styles of this or more pairs of this style. I really, really like these. Now we have a new primer from e.l.f. And this is the Power Grip with Niacinamide. This from, apparently from what I've seen, is very similar to the original, which I love. That is one of my all-time favorite primers. It says it does brighten the look of dullness, provides an effortless glow for perfect makeup application. I actually really like Niacinamide. It works well with my skin. Feels exactly like the original Power Grip. You're gonna get that tacky base with this as well, which is fabulous. I love that about the Power Grip. I think if anything, the original one might be slightly more tacky, but they're gonna both give you the same effect. Very hydrating, grippy texture. If you guys have tried this, let me know if you feel or see a difference, because I personally don't. But yeah, I think if you like the original, you're gonna love this as well. If you have the original, I don't think you need this, but you guys know I love me some Elf. Now for foundation, I'm so excited about this. The new Essence Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation. I got the shade 70. So it says it's a long lasting foundation. It's transfer and waterproof. There's no added silicones, parabens. There's also no oil, perfume, or alcohol alcohol in this, which is great. And it says it's a silky lightweight texture with a smooth matte finish, medium to high coverage for up to 16 hour wear. Apparently people say this is a dupe for the new Makeup by Mario foundation, which I did purchase. I haven't tried it out yet, but the only thing with this is from what I've seen, it doesn't have a good shade range, which is unfortunate. This foundation is looking like it's going to be too light, but this is what it looks like. Pretty runny. Oh yeah, this is going to be too light, but we're going to hopefully make this work. I'm going to use my Anissa Beauty angled foundation brush or pinnacle foundation brush i'm thinking of the concealer brush let's blend this in okay maybe the color is not terrible i mean it is pretty light but i think i can make this work i'm gonna just work with this by sections the formula is runny but the coverage is definitely there a really pretty foundation. Love the coverage. I can see some of that satin finish that it has. Maybe that's from the primer that I used too. Oh, it says it's a matte finish. I don't really see this super matte on my skin, to be honest. Feels more so like it has a silky kind of satin texture. It's looking really pretty on the skin. Again, it's comfortable. Definitely pulls a little bit yellowy on me. It says it's medium to buildable. I feel like this is really good, like solid medium coverage. I'm not gonna add any more just because I don't feel like I need it and I don't want my face to get cakey, but I agree with the claims. Lightweight texture, it's a really smooth, 
foundation and I love the fact that it absorbs into the skin really quickly. It doesn't seem to be sitting on top of the skin. It blends in really nicely. I have no complaints other than the shade. So now let's do concealer and this is also from Essence. It's the new Keep Me Covered Concealer. Again, there's no fragrances in here, no silicones and this one I got in 40 Shell. It's a buildable medium coverage creamy texture concealer with aloe vera. <gasps> Hold on, wait, we have under eye correctors. I guess I could use the corrector on one side and not the other. Okay, let's do that. Let's try the concealer on its own. And then, cause I have these new correctors from e.l.f. that I wanna try out. So I'm gonna just do that much. This feels really creamy. Actually, let's add a little bit more. Wow, that feels nice. And I'm gonna use my angled concealer brush from Anissa Beauty. We're gonna blend that in. That just covered up beautifully. Wow. Also, really hydrating formula. I feel like the foundation or the concealer is more hydrating than the foundation for sure. There's almost also this hydrated luminous finish that it gives to the under eyes too, which is pretty. Now we have some new correctors from e.l.f. here. e.l.f. is just dropping so many new things. I believe they actually even have more new stuff dropping as we speak. I think they're sprinkling in their new stuff for the new year. So I'm probably gonna be doing another full face of e.l.f. very soon in the next coming weeks. But anyways, we have their new camo correctors. These come in four different shades. I'm gonna use the brightening one today. It says it counteracts dullness for fair to medium skin. And then the blue one says it visibly offsets orange and yellow tones for all skin tones. And then the green one counteracts any redness. And then we have the peach one, and this counteracts dark spots for fair to medium skin. So let's go in with the yellow one today. And it says it's a full coverage satin corrector. So let's see. I'm gonna apply this under here. Wow, this literally goes on like a concealer. I'm gonna use a different brush. This one is from BK Beauty, it's the A506. Nice and creamy. That went on like a concealer. It does have really good coverage for this to be a corrector. I feel like I don't even need to really go in with concealer after this, to be honest. I could like leave this as is. Definitely brightened, but like I said, it also concealed it just because of how good the coverage is. Okay, now let's top it off with the concealer and see if there's a difference between the two. But I think this looks awesome. see a little bit more of a brighter under eye look on this side with the elf corrector versus this side with just the concealer let me know what you guys think i love the way that blended i love the formula of this and i really like how much coverage this has that's amazing just to make both of these look a little bit more even i'm gonna add just a touch more of concealer on the other side that i didn't use the corrector and i'm just gonna blend that out you see how quickly the concealer blends i do really love that about it and it looks like when you build it up you kind of get the same coverage that I got on this side by using the corrector underneath. I got this next product at Ulta. It's from Makeup Revolution, the Bright Light Highlighter in Divine Dark Pink. Apparently this is a dupe for the Pink Gasm from Charlotte Tilbury, and I wanna see how it compares because I do have both. Really pretty pink. That's so pigmented. Oh wow, that's gorgeous though. That color and the glow is like next level. I don't think the color is identical to Pinkasm from Charlotte Tilbury. I think this one is a little bit more bright, but the finish is super similar. You can see you get that color with a little bit of that glow. I'm just taking my foundation brush and just going over this slightly just to tone it down a bit. Next up, we have a new powder. This one's from Makeup Revolution. It's the IRL Filter 2-in-1 Press Powder. You get a pressed and a loose powder, actually. I'm loving the new IRL concealer from Makeup Revolution, so we'll see how the powder is. This one isn't translucent, by the way. So it literally comes with the loose powder and the pressed powder up top. That's amazing. I'm gonna set ever so lightly with the pressed powder first, and I'm gonna use my Real Technique setting brush. I love the concept of having a press and a loose powder in one. That's super convenient. That looks really good. Look at the difference. This is no powder and then powder very smooth and right before i set i like to blend out my little under eye creases and then set immediately after my concealer still creases when i do that but it helps for the creases not to be excessive okay but i'm actually loving that powder that looks good there is kickback quite a bit actually to this powder so just something to keep in mind 
And I'm going to take that same press powder and I'm going to very lightly just dust some of that on the rest of my face to set. And then I'm going to bake, not even bake, I'm just going to go over with some of the loose powder under my eyes with a powder puff. And I'm just going to do this very lightly over the pressed powder. That looks good, nice and smooth. I am so excited to see if this is going to give me a white cast. The powder looks really good though. There is kickback to it, but the powder itself is definitely smooth and it's comfortable on the skin too because I feel like it's definitely mattifying my skin, but it's also not feeling dry. So I'm going to finish up my eyes. It's going to be really simple. I have this light frosty baby blue eyeliner from LA Colors. It's the gel eyeliner and this one is in mermaid tail shimmer. I feel like this is going to match perfectly with the lid shade. I love LA girl eyeliners. <gasps> Wait, this is so pretty. It's like a light teal baby blue but it has like that metallic finish. I'm gonna pop that on the waterline. It is actually different than the color that I have on my lid, but it's still so pretty. I thought it was gonna be more of like a frosty baby blue. It's a pretty color. It's just a little bit darker than what I wanted. Going back with the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great for the lower lashes. I think the new mascara from Milani adds more length. This one, I mean, it does add length too. I feel like for me, this mostly separates and adds some nice volume to the lashes. I honestly really love both mascaras. I'm gonna see how this one wears and if it flakes throughout the day, but this one also makes your lashes, the lower lashes look really nice. I love this formula. Now I have new lipsticks from e.l.f. Packaging is really pretty. It's all matte. Now let's see the color. Ooh. Okay, pigment. Also, this is gonna look so pretty with a brown lip liner. Lip liner makes all lip products look better, but I want you guys to see the true color, so I'm not gonna do any today. Again, this is the color Hustle. I love this color. It is unique for sure, but I can see this looking so beautiful on tanner and deeper skin tones, but I love the undertone to this. The formula is really creamy. It does have a satin finish, but it's comfortable. It's not overly creamy and shiny on the lips. It is pigmented, it glides on the lips, and I think this is gonna look so bomb, especially with a good brown lip Liner. Next color we have is Dirty Talk. Beautiful. It's like the most perfect light pink, but it's not too pink. It's not too nude. Next color is No Doubt. I like the shape of the lipsticks as well. Love this color. It's a really nice nude. The formula is nice. It's really creamy. It feels comfortable. And this is a beautiful color. Standing Ovation is the next shade. Not my favorite shade on me, but it's a nice color and I can see this working with also a lot of different glosses, lip liners. It's a pretty shade. I like the other two that I just used more, but this is stunning. Next color we have is Vocal. Personally, not my favorite shade out of the bunch, but I think this could work on different skin tones if you're into these orangey kind of tones. But so far the formula, I will say it's consistent with all of the lipsticks. It's just personally not my favorite shade on me. By the way, I'm noticing my blush looking slightly patchy which is unfortunate because i loved the formula of it when i first applied it but right now it's not looking the best after it's like settled into my skin next color drive we're getting into some of the darker deeper shades so drive is the next color so here is Drive, and I will say I like this color. This doesn't look very cute right now, by the way. I'm not making this look very pretty. I just want to show you the color. That's why I love me some lip liner, because it helps to not only make your lipstick and everything last better, but it just makes everything look more polished. This, for sure, needs a good deep brown lip liner, and this would look so bomb, but I think this is a good brown shade. It's pretty. I like the color of it. Next color is an Effortless. Valentine's Day. That's like the first thing I could think of. I love this color. Great for Valentine's Day or a date night or even like a little birthday glam. If you want to do something other than like a nude lip color, this is stunning. Next color we have is Shameless. So again, this one is Shameless. I also really like this color. It's a kind of mixture of a berry color and it's a little bit vampy, but it's also not too vampy. So I find this to be actually very wearable if you want to do something other than a lighter shade. This is beautiful. Next color we have is Own It. 
So here is Own It, which is the most beautiful raspberry red. This color reminds me a lot of one of their Seriously Satin lipsticks that e.l.f. used to have. I believe they launched those, I want to say, like three years ago. Okay, so I'm going to swatch the Seriously Satin lipstick first. This is the color Raspberry. I really enjoyed the Seriously Satin lipstick. Now we're going to do Own It right underneath. So I am building these up on the back of my hand quite a bit just to show you the finishes. So up top, we have the Seriously Satin Lipstick in the color Raspberry. And then on the bottom, we have the color that I have on my lips, which is Own It. Building these up and even like swatching both of the lipsticks, comparing them, they're similar but slightly different. The new satin lipsticks feel a little bit more pigmented and opaque when you swatch them and when you put them on your lips. And you can kind of see the swatch here. Like this one looks a little bit more like rich and opaque versus this swatch. And both of these, I built them up the same. So I just wanted to compare those two because I was curious. Last but not least, we have the color No Regrets. Yeah, this is like a true pepper red. Honestly, I liked all of the lipstick colors, minus two on my skin tone personally. Okay, so I'm swapping out that lip color and I'm gonna go in with the NYX Line Loud Lip Pencil in the shade Magic Maker. And then I'm gonna top that off with the new satin lipstick from e.l.f. in Dirty Talk. This was one of my favorite colors. It's like the light pink nude. The last new product that I picked up is from CVS and it is the Joa Crystal Glow Luminizing Mist. You know what time it is. Speed review type. Starting off with eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. I thought this was a cute palette. I enjoyed it at first and then when I started working with it more, I was like, wait, I don't really think I love this. Wasn't bad, wasn't great, not a favorite. I don't think that you need this unless you really like the tones, but I feel like you can skip out on this to be honest. In this Pixie Eye Lift Max, to be honest, putting it over the eyeshadow today, I did not love it. But as I swatch it on the back of my hand, it does look really pretty. I'm sure this would be nice on its own all over your lid. So I think this has potential, but today it wasn't my favorite product let's talk about the foundation you guys so i actually really loved the way this applied i thought it had great coverage i love the finish of it but i'm not crazy about the undertone and i was looking online the shades aren't really that great and a lot of people are also complaining that this foundation runs very yellow so i really feel like it has so much potential i'm just not crazy about the undertones and shades right now even on my skin tone right now this color is not perfect same with the concealer i thought the concealer was nice i actually enjoyed the coverage it's like a natural natural medium coverage. And comparing the new Essence Concealer to the newest affordable concealer that I used, which is the IRL Filter Finish from Makeup Revolution, I prefer this one because it is such great coverage, but it's so smoothing. It looks like blurred on the under eyes and it wears beautifully. And it's also only $7. So if I had to choose one, I would say try the one from Makeup Revolution if you're looking for a new great coverage concealer. I also really didn't love the Bright Light Highlighter from Makeup Revolution. I personally don't think this is a dupe for the Pinkasm from Charlotte Tilbury. The colors are different. The finishes and formulas are different and this looks really patchy on my skin right now. I don't know if you can really tell. There is some color payoff and I actually really liked it when I first put it on but I'm not crazy about how it looks after it sets into the skin. You don't need this. Just skip out on it. Everything else though I think I really enjoyed. So first of all I'm obsessed with these lashes from Kiss. I definitely want to get more styles. These are so pretty and I also really love them on my eye shape. So double thumbs up. Also double thumbs up for the lash and roll from e.l.f. Comparing this to the new Milani mascara, the new Milani one definitely gives you more length, but I love what this does to my lashes because it does separate them. I really loved the Power Grip Primer with Niacinamide. I don't really see much of a difference between this and the OG, so I think if you have that one, you don't need this, but I really love the way this applied. And if anything, this one might be slightly, very slightly less tacky than the original, but there really isn't much of a difference to be honest, but this was good. I also love the Makeup Revolution powder. The fact that you get a loose and a pressed powder in here is my favorite. And I might look a little bit more dewy now because of the luminous spray that I did use from Joa, but I really like this powder. I think it looks really good. And let me show you the photo that I took with flash. There is no flashback. Look at this. I think that looks really good. Now my face does look pretty light and I think this is mostly just because the foundation and concealer shades are just not it, but the powder itself I think looks really good. It's so blurring. It's really smooth, especially the pressed powder. The lipsticks from e.l.f. are so beautiful, super pigmented and opaque and very comfortable finish as well. And the Crystal Glow Luminizing Mist was nice. I think it gave a really pretty dew to the skin, very healthy. And I also really enjoyed the e.l.f. color corrector. This gives brightness, but it's still really lightweight. But yeah, that is everything for this testing new makeup. I'm curious to see if you guys have tried any of these products or is there anything that you're eyeing down? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!